if you are a judge, an academic, or really just anyone who's trying to understand our Constitution and what it means today, there's basically three approaches you could use. Strict construction, originalism, and viewing it as a living document. Let me start by explaining the simplest of the three, strict construction. Those who view the Constitution that way are taking every word of it literally, and that is all. So you only look at the words themselves, and you follow very strictly the literal meaning of those words. Textualism also pretty much does that. There's not a significant difference between strict construction and textualism, so I'm putting those two in the same category. But I will point out that textualists such as Antonin Scalia, for example, will argue that they are not strict constructionists. They would say they also just look at the text itself, the Constitution, but they argue that they use a little more common sense when applying it. Whereas they would say strict constructionists can take the word so literally that they end up drawing very absurd conclusions. Now, moving on to originalism. An originalist views the Constitution in its original context. That is, we look at when the Constitution was written, who wrote it, what they intended by it. So, if we look, for example, at the seven articles of the Constitution, as well as the Bill of Rights, the First Ten Amendments, we would be asking ourselves, what did the framers intend by this? Why did they write it then? How did they mean for us to apply it? If we look at any of the amendments after the Tenth Amendment, we would look at when that particular amendment was added to the Constitution and what was intended at the time. How was it meant to be used? If the Constitution is a living document, then you're not just looking at the original words themselves, nor are you looking at the original context in which it was written. Instead, you view the Constitution as something that always evolves and tells us new things in new ways. One thing I want to make clear, especially if you're one of my students, if you're going to defend the living document perspective, don't point out that we can add amendments to the Constitution. That's part of the original intent. If you view the Constitution as a living document, it doesn't evolve simply by amendments. It evolves by judicial interpretation. That is, the judges, whether they be lower federal court judges or the Supreme Court, They'll decide that this part of the Constitution now means something new, something that it didn't mean before. So, same words, new meaning for a new context. So, to put all this in perspective for you, a strict constructionist relies on the words of the Constitution themselves, that's all. They would say that any judgment should be based on those exact words, and any judgment that's not based on those exact words goes against the Constitution, quite simply. So to them, judicial precedent really isn't important at all. To an originalist, there's some room for judicial precedent in that judges can debate the historical context, what was intended by the meaning. But that's really all they're supposed to do. They're not supposed to think, well, what would make a good policy in this day and age? That would be up to the legislative branch rather than the judicial branch. If you view the Constitution, however, as a living document, then it's pretty much all about precedent and not as much about the exact words of the Constitution itself. If the Constitution's a living document, you're asking yourself, mostly, what were the previous rulings on this subject and how can we build on those rulings? So not only are you building on previous rulings, but you can expand those rulings to mean new things because the Constitution's alive and well and it's always telling us new things. Um, I suppose you could also overturn previous rulings. Um, those who favor the living document are a little more reluctant to overturn previous rulings because if the judges are constantly, you know, they make one ruling and then 10 years later they overturn that ruling, they start to look more like a political branch than a branch that's objectively interpreting the Constitution. So the living document is the most fluid way to interpret the Constitution. You could argue maybe it's the most practical since things are always changing, but you also run that risk of our judges being accused of abusing their power. I hope that clarifies it. Tell me in the comments below which philosophy, if any, you prefer and what you think of this whole debate. Thank you.